Hey everyone, welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going to look at linked hash set. Now, linked hash set extends from hash set class. And just like our hash set, a linked hash set does not allow duplicate values. The underlying data structure over here is hash table and linked list. Okay. Now, the main difference between a hash set and a linked hash set is that a hash set does not maintain the insertion order, whereas a linked hash set maintains the insertion order. Okay. So if we use a linked hash set, we will get the data in the same order in which we have inserted. Okay. Now let's try an example. So let's say I create a hash set of student over here. That is student set one. Now let me import the hash set class. And now I'll just add a few student objects to it. Let's say S1, S3, S2 and S4. Okay. Now, similarly, I'll create a linked hash set of student. Okay, so that is student set two. Again, let me import the linked hash set class. And similarly, I'll add some student objects to it. Okay, let's say S1, S3, S2 and S4. So I've kept the same order over here. Okay, in both the cases. Now, what I'll do is, so we have a hash set and we have a linked hash set. Now I'll just print the data from uh, both of these sets. Okay. So this is for student set one, which is a hash set. And again, I'm using the for each method for displaying the data. Now, similarly, I'll do it for student set two, which is a linked hash set. Okay. Now let's save this program and run it. Now, if you remember the insertion order, it was S1, S3, S2 and S4. But in case of a hash set, we are getting some different order, which means that a hash set does not maintain the insertion order. But in case of a linked hash set, the insertion order is maintained. Okay. So that is the main difference between a hash set and a linked hash set. Now what I'll do is I'll just add a few duplicate values to our linked hash set just to verify if it is working fine. Okay. So I'll just add S3 again over here and uh, S4 again. Now let's run this program. And yes, it is working properly. It has not allowed or added the duplicate values. Okay. So our linked hash set is working fine. Now, similarly, you can use all other collection methods like add all or remove all retain all contains contains all, etc. exactly in the same way as our hash set. Okay. So rest, everything is exactly same as hash set. Okay. So yeah, that's it guys. Thank you for watching and see you in my next tutorial.